Uh, this is going to be my first update on what's going on in Ecuador since my uh, arrival here in Phoenix. The one I gave this morning was really just not really much about business. It was really more about just me. And so I'm going to try to get down to business here and uh, talk about what's going on in Ecuador. And I, I don't have a whole lot to report right now. I did make some notes of some stuff that I read. Uh, one of the first things that popped up was the, uh, the cancellation of the tourist reservation. Uh, it's reached like an 80% due to the, uh, the emergency. That was according to Nicholas Crowder from the emergency or Ecuador emergency Facebook page uh, that I uh, I've told you about numerous times. I'll put a link to it in the description to make sure it's there for if you want to go read about it. Also... There was a prosecutor that was killed. I don't, I didn't catch where it was at. I think it was in Waikil, and he was, uh, they they discovered that the, the killers that killed this guy uh, were from the Los Chineros gang, Los Chineros gang. And uh, they, they, they've captured two of the people that have done that. I want to tell you also, beware about fake news. There seems to be a lot of uh, fake news spreading around about what's going on. There, uh, there was a video, a viral video that went crazy, and it showed a bunch of people being marching, or soldiers marching through what looked like a, an airport. And that really wasn't, it wasn't even in Ecuador. That was in Mexico. Uh, it, was a, it was a military deployment in Mexico, it had nothing to do with Ecuador. Um, there have been 158 terrorism suspects uh, detained so far. Uh, so I, I, you know, that's progress. I don't really have much more to tell you about. Uh, I'm here in Phoenix. I'm here. I uh, arrived last night. Uh, for those of you that didn't see my other video, where I was chowing down on some barbecue, and uh, really, I tell you what, it was a feast. It was I haven't had a piece of brisket like that since I lived here three years, almost three years ago. So, very good. One of the things that I noticed this morning when I woke up is that I didn't hear a, not one single damn car alarm last night. I haven't heard one yet since I've been here. No car alarms. So. No car alarms, and I haven't even heard a horn honk. So I'm not going to dwell on that too much, you know. It's definitely, definitely different. I went to uh, to breakfast this morning. I went to one of my favorite restaurants that I used to go to and had breakfast, and it was 15 bucks, and it was a, one of those light breakfasts. It seemed to me like it was a lot of money for what I was getting to eat, you know. I know a lot of people are going to respond to these updates when I talk about uh, what's going on here? They, um, one of the, somebody asked me to consider doing a video about like reverse culture shock and to give my opinion about what I think about what's going on here in the states. So I'm probably going to do some of that, you know, just to, uh, to kind of mix up the content here a little bit. So, but anyway, that's all I've got to report on today. I hope everybody's staying safe. Those of you that are still planning to go to Ecuador, I just say the same thing. Just be cautious. Don't go to where you shouldn't be. Use your common sense. Okay? If you can cancel or not, not cancel, but if you can postpone your trip, it might not be a bad idea. Okay? Uh, if you, I do know that the American Airlines flights from Miami into White Hill have been canceled and as soon as I hear news about uh, them, them resuming their flights I'll let you know so keep tabs with the everything I have in the description down below all the links that I provide for the different sources of news that I've been sharing with you okay so that's it for today I'll be back tomorrow or the next day as soon as I see something worthy of reporting about other than that I'll see you on the next one, okay? Ciao, ciao.